Hey guys, it's Cece here with Tactical Bassin. Welcome back. I am so stoked to be with you here today and to take you on a tour of my new bass boat. Come along, let's check it out. So after Tanya and I shot our last video, a lot of people were surprised to find out that I had my own boat. However, I've actually been a bass boat owner for at least the last 10 years. Before this, I was in an older Ranger, and as much as I loved that boat, as good as it was to me, and so many big fish caught out of it, ultimately it was just too small and not enough storage space. So I ended up getting into a 2009 Champion 198. That's a 19 foot, eight inch bass boat. Um, some of the key features we looked for when shopping for a boat um, was, okay, again, that storage space was critical for me, especially having a toddler running around on the boat. You want to keep a lot of your gear, your rods tucked away. Um, so this has a ton of storage space. And then on the water performance out here at Clear Lake where we live, the water can get giant. So again, with having a child with me especially, you wanna make sure that you're able to get to and from the launch ramp safely. And lastly, budget. One of the benefits of getting into an older used boat is that you're able to save money on the whole and then use that budget to accessorize and customize the boat the way that you wanna have it set up. So with that being said, let's jump into it. All right, so let's kick this off with the outboard. To be totally honest with you guys, I was looking for a 198 with a Yamaha on it, and that's based on my past experience, what I had hanging on my old Ranger. But, you know, the scariest part of your used boat purchase is probably going to be your outboard. And so what you really want to make sure you get is a sound motor. What we found when this Merc 225 was that it had good hours and it had good compression. So ultimately that's the choice we made. All right, so let's talk about some of the key modifications that we did to this boat. Sticking with the outboard, I'm using a combination of the motor sticks and the steer stops and that combination tows really well. And of course I cannot live without my talons. Um, because I love fishing shallow and I ended up going with the shorty eight footers which was perfect for me when my outboard is in the water and it's straight it's the same they're the same height and what that allows me to do out here where we have a lot of docks and again I love to fish shallow it allows me to just scoot right under the docks without having to go all the way around without having to deal with putting them up and down um, so that is a huge convenience. And then over on the other side, I do have a remote drain plug. And talk about the simplest change on this boat that I had no idea I would love so much. Um, and that just allows you to um, insert your drain plug or remove it without having to crawl up underneath your boat. And not all boats have this, but on this particular boat, that drain plug is pretty far underneath the hole. So that has been great. And the last thing on the back of the boat are the boat buckles. So if you are still using those old ratchet straps, I highly recommend that you treat yourself, upgrade to the boat buckles. Matt did install those for me along with the talons and most all of the modifications that I'm going to talk to you guys about today. All right, so let's jump into the battery compartment. And back here, we kept it really simple. We upgraded from the old batteries to group 31s, and that's going to be probably the first thing you do when you get your, you know, a new boat. Um, with new battery trays, I got a Perco switch so I can cut power, you know, when the boat's not in use. And then I have them connected with a precision four bank battery charger just to get the most life out of these batteries. And then right here with the storage compartments, in the 198, you got two wet compartments here, huge live wells. Over here on this side, I'm just storing my life jackets, my throwables, some of my safety equipment, I have my fire extinguisher in there. And let's look at the console. 
Okay, so we're up here at the console. I still want to clean it up a little bit, remove this old graph, switch out the gauges. Um, Matt did already switch out the rocker switches for me. Those old ones were just faded out. Um, for the graphs, you know, I really wanted to go with the biggest screen I could get, affordable price. We went with Helix 12s. I have one at the console. I have one up at the front and they have been so simple to use. I'm really happy with them. When we originally got this boat, it had just a standard throttle and we did put in one of my favorite features of this boat, my hot pink hot foot. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, no, it didn't come hot pink. We did have it powder coated. So this is a girl's boat. I want to make that clear. And the balls out mount, I have my graph mounted off to the side and that works really well for me. Just being a shorter person, I don't want my view when I'm driving to be obstructed whatsoever. So this setup is perfect. Okay, so this is obviously a dual console boat and that is critical for me having a three-year-old and I guarantee that if you're a parent, you know all about the boat fort, which is where your kids hide out right underneath there. So that's a lifesaver. Um, moving on to the storage lockers. You know, typically, I already removed it. Typically I keep this locker bar installed just for that extra security. Um, over here on this side, that's my rod storage. There's a rod organizer in there. This was, this was probably my number one concern with getting a boat that was big enough with storage, with rod storage. Um, I am able to fit a couple of eight foot swim bait rods in there. And that's great. Um, this center compartment, that's where I keep all my tackle. This compartment is enormous. It fits everything and the weight of the tackle works so well down the center of your boat to keep you balanced out. It keeps your nose stable in rough water. Um, if I have it off to the side, I find that depending on if you have a passenger or not, your boat kind of runs lopsided. So storing your bait in the center, rods out on the sides, in my opinion, that's the way to go. Over here, my other rod storage locker, at the moment it's empty, when I'm using this boat, it is usually filled with just um, day supplies. Um, Sierra Sun umbrellas in there, I got a bait re retriever in there, that type of thing. All right guys, we're up here at the bow of the boat and it is amazing to me to sit here and look at the progress that we've made. You know, we bought this boat, completely stripped down with no trolling motor, no graphs. Um, the, the, that pad was destroyed up there. So we did end up replacing it. We had refinished underneath it. We have all new um, panels up here, rocker switches. I have my other Helix 12 right here. Um, I have my remote Talon control so I can run my Talons. Uh, you cannot overlook the workhorse of the boat, the Ultrex. 112 I got it on a you know the recessed foot pedal is down there and it's just awesome to sit here and look at it all of the work that went into this Matt did all of the install there was a ton of wiring and it looks great I'm so excited to have a boat that's customized to me all right guys, that is my boat. I hope you liked it. Um, if you wanna check out any more information on the parts, accessories that I talked about today, check down below in the video description. We will link you the trolling motor, the graphs, the remote drain plug, the hot foot, anything that I talked about, you can find more information. Go there, look at the links. All used boats have character. They're gonna have scuffs, stings, things that may not be working on them. But just remember now, if you're shopping for a used boat, the most important thing is going to be get a reliable motor. The other stuff can be changed and replaced. You get a strong motor, you get good quality equipment, 
and you can get your used boat running better than a new boat and on a budget. I hope you had fun coming along with me, talking boats, something I love to do. If you love it also, give me a thumbs up, hit the like button. Hope to see you guys out on the water soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you.